Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, says Turkey is ready to launch a military operation across the Syrian border in Afrin against the YPG terror group. The statement comes a day after Turkey sent reinforcements, including tanks, to its southern border with Syria. Earlier, the military reportedly hit several targets belonging to an offshoot of the YPG terror group in Syria's Aleppo province. We will eliminate those groups that pose a threat to our national security and kill our people at their source. Just like how we crack down on the separatist terror organization in Turkey, we are determined to deal with them on the other side of our border. In the coming days, we will continue our operation to clear our southern border from terror with the Afrin operation after we carried out Operatus Shield, which was our first step. Terror 2 World's Ahmed Albarai joins me now from Hatay near the Turkey-Syria border. Ahmed, good to speak to you again. What's the latest on Turkey's operation in Afrin and how quickly do you think it will escalate into a full-scale military operation? Well, Sandra, on Saturday, the military operation started on the ground by shilling these uh, posts of the militia, the Kurdish militia known as the YPG, that Turkey considers the extension and the branch of the terror group here in Turkey, PKK, in Syria. So the operation started in the aftermath of the speech of Erdogan, the Turkish president, when he said that Turkey is determined to purge the elements, uh, the terrorist elements in Afrin, inside Syria, and the same as they did uh, to Daesh elements in other region. And the, it seems that the operation will escalate because the president today on Sunday also stated that in the coming few days, the Turkey will go on with the operation and will not listen to any of the calls from the United States or any other body because it is a matter, according to Turkey, of a national security issue. So why is Turkey going into Afrin now, given it was last year that President Erdogan said Turkey would consider driving out YPG fighters from the area if they didn't leave voluntarily? Well, Turkey, honestly, the past few days summoned the uh, U.S. Uh, charge defer uh, to express its resentment from the standpoints of the United States. Recently, reports speaking about the U.S.-led coalition planning to have a scheme of training these militias up to 30,000, according to reports, troops to uh, have them uh, along the border with Turkey. And that's something that Turkey Turkey is considering a red line to its national security because for Turkey, having these troops to being legitimized by the United States is a serious matter and they will not accept, according to the president, any move from the United States to trying to legitimize these groups because, as I've told you, for Turkey, this is a very sensitive issue. Also, the practices of the YPG on the ground by not letting the displaced people going back to the region, particularly after the defeat of Daesh, is another sign. All right. Appreciate the update on this ongoing story. Ahmed Al-Barai, many thanks for joining us from Hatay.